Tom Raspberry has been in the pest management business since the 1970s. But it wasn't until 2002 that he discovered the insect that bears his name, the raspberry crazy ant. I was at a, actually a chemical plant and saw a small trail of ants that I didn't recognize. Uh, in 2003, however, it went from one small trail to no, 30, 40 billion ants. The identification process took about 10 years. So what did Raspberry learn about the species? More than likely they came in, were imported on a ship. The big characteristic that's different is their sheer numbers. Where your, your fire ants may have 30, 40,000 ants in a colony, the crazy ant populations get up into the billions of ants per acre. So probably the most common ants that you're likely to find in the city of Houston are uh, of course, the red imported fire ant, and more recently, the crazy ants. In places where these crazy ants have invaded, they look to be displacing fire ants as the most common ants. And with their population set to rise in the coming months, how do raspberry crazy ants impact us? Fire ants can sting and the crazy ants don't. The main impact that's been documented of the crazy ants on humans is uh, their ability to short out electrical devices and basically create havoc in homes by having such sheer abundance. So what happens if a colony colony of crazy ants takes over your home, Raspberry says cans like this won't do much good. I would recommend that you go to a professional. 99% of the products that kill fire ants will not control this ant. For Houston Public Media News, I'm Edel Howlin.